number of frames. So I'll pop you over here. So you can actually see the duration. Each one of these is a frame. So if I know that I want... Oh my goodness. If I want this keyframe to start the very next frame afterwards and be twice as long, I can visually see it here. Okay, so the is needs to come a lot sooner. Oops. That works pretty well. There's a tiny little bit where you can see that it's still red. Um, so what I'll do is I will shift our keyframes back like two keyframes total. Because I liked the duration, but it was just a little bit too early. And then in uh, the main time code sequence all the way up at the top here, I'm going to move that break cue. Just back a few frames so that that color mix happens a little more seamlessly in the background. And it didn't work. Okay, so that break, I need to make sure that beams go off. It should. I could also just look at the exact time. You hear that little tiny wind down? That meow. I can also uh, go in here and look at the exact time. So if I scrub in here, oh, sorry, you guys are getting strobed. Whoops. I can't do it at a festival, so I might as well do it to 235 people in the stream. Yeah, if you guys have questions in the chat, um, thankfully YouTube fixed the whole thing where you can't see the chat <laughs> during the re uh, the replaying of the stream. That was so stupid. For a long time, the live streams you could not you could not see the chat, so any interaction is completely lost for the future. But now I can read questions that you guys have later. So if there are any unanswer unanswered questions um, at the top of every hour, so in another forty minutes here, and then. The hour after that, and then finally at the very last bit, we'll wrap up with some Q 